This is the coding action video for chapter 7. In chapter 7 we implemented server-side rendering in our app. So now run a terminal, install the dependencies, and now we first need to make sure to run the backend. Make sure the Docker container is running so that it connect, can connect to the database. The backend is now running and connecting to the database. Now we can run the front end. And as you can see, it's now running the server side rendering dev server. And if we go to this page in our browser, our app is still running fine in the browser. If we refresh, it loads the same way as before, except that now this is not rendering on the client side, this is rendering on the server. We can verify that by opening the console, then going to the settings, scrolling down and pressing disable JavaScript. Now, if we refresh the page, we'll see that it still loads. So that means that it's all rendered on the server and no client side JavaScript is needed to render the components. Now let's enable that again and run a lighthouse report by going to the Lighthouse tab and then pressing Analyze Page Load. And this will audit our page and check the different web vitals to see how well it performs. As we can see, after adding server set rendering, our app now performs really well in the web vital scores. The only score that it doesn't perform well at yet is the SEO score, and we're gonna work on that in the next chapter.